Do you like your TV? Do you remember when black and white TV were the height of technological advancement? Probably not. That was quite some time ago. These days, the innovation in display technology is boundless. That 4K LED LCD curved TV, it will be outdated in a couple of years. So let's talk about some upcoming display technologies and technologies that already exist and what keeps them from being the optimal future. Because this is Future 5. Number 1. The Quantum Dot Display As fancy as the name suggests, it's actually been around since the 90s. This still experimental technology is available for purchase now and if it continues to see success, will likely be our logical next step in all our basic displays. Quantum dot displays work using LCDs or liquid crystal displays, as most displays do. But the lighting behind the LCD is what makes them unique. Unlike similar atomic structures, these quantum dot structures yield unusual properties when the size is changed. This property follows the quantum confinement effect and utilizes it to produce colors of the entire visible spectrum. These displays can produce brighter and more vivid colors. It can also display true black and true white, which many TVs cannot do. Price of producing these TVs is about the same as an average LED TV, so it's likely in the future we will see this technology implemented into phones and other screens of devices that have limited battery capacity. LCD screens use less energy and are therefore used for these kinds of devices. Number 2. Photon Display Lots of people already know about the HoloLens, which is a really neat toy for those who can afford it. But within that device is what we want to cover on this video. In order to make the HoloLens, a lot of innovations happened and had to come together to make it what it is now. Modern TVs and displays, as most know, use pixels in order to display their image. This works very well and over time we have improved our resolution to a point where those pixels nearly disappear. As displays continue to grow, getting higher and higher resolutions to match them is getting harder. The HoloLens, in order to produce as real as possible a hologram, created what is known as Holographic Processing Unit. This unit is a special type of processor that uses photons of light in order to produce its image. This method is the same method as humans use with our eyes. And as a side effect you receive near perfect resolution of the image you're viewing. If this method gets evolved into larger displays, it will be hard to improve further. Number 3. Plasma LCD Plasma displays were extremely popular for a short time, but why have they fallen out of favor? Overall, plasma displays are actually better than a large portion of the LED LCD displays out now. Companies need large factories to produce either, but plasma displays have limitations where LEDs do not. With current technology, it's hard to make a plasma display less than 40 inches, but we can build them as large as we want. LED displays can be as small as you want, with little consequence. Plasma TVs often have a refresh rate of around 600, which blows away LEDs, which commonly come in at 120 to 240. A downside to plasma is their brightness. They are very dim when compared to an LED display. However, they can produce much better color and a truer black. Number 4. Laser Displays Laser displays utilize two or more modulated optical lasers of red, blue and green to produce a combined color that is then scanned and projected across the image by a mirror system. There are other similar methods used as well to get the picture projected. Laser projector displays have been working to replace UHP lamps, which are currently in use for more common projectors. LG has claimed that their laser projectors last 25,000 hours, which more than doubles the claim the UHPs make. Aside from the Quantum Dot TV, our current displays are limited of only showing 40% of the visible color spectrum. If these displays continue to advance, expect them to be at the top of the Quantum Dot displays. Number 5. CCFL LCD Do people even know these still exist? CCFLs are the light bulbs some of us remember having to replace in our TVs when they stopped working. They used to cost hundreds of dollars to fix, 
so most people ended up trashing their old TVs and getting new ones. CCFL TVs are not only present in the older tube TVs, but are still sold today by some companies to reduce cost. There's not a huge amount you can say for this type of lighting, as it's an outdated technology. That being said, it still has brighter, but not better lighting than the plasma displays. It also is by far the cheapest way to go if you're on a budget, as you can get a CCFL TV of a good size for about $100. Be warned though, these TVs have the shortest lifespan, so if you were looking for your electronics lasting a long time, go elsewhere. Alright, that's enough for this week. I've got to go. Game of Thrones is on in a bit. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Future 5. Please like and share, it means a lot to us. If you want to know more about us, check out our Facebook, Twitter, website or even our Discord server. All links in the description. Also, why don't you check out some of the Let's Play content we've got on our channel by our good friend Psychotic Q-Tip.